This is Channel 7 News. This is Lanny York for Channel 7 News. It was one of the worst attacks to date by gangs. Hope Street Police Station and the emergency workers stationed there survived an all-out assault last month. T-Zero assisted officers in defending the station and made many of the 56 arrests that day. One of the gang's most notorious leaders, Estevez, was killed. The Civil Defense Committee has confirmed that recent multi-gang attacks are fully organized and coordinated. The police investigation into the gangs and their members has been kept highly confidential. Investigators have not released any of the gang's identities or objectives. But these gangs have shown they are an army on a mission. Several large corporations are aiding police by notifying them of any suspicious employees or employee actions. These companies include the accounts giant PPS, the removal firm Shifted, and the energy conglomerate Shiny Energy. 34 arrests have been made so far based on tips from these employers. Many employees are being questioned after homemade weapons and explosives were found on company premises. If you suspect someone you know to be a gang member, please contact your local police department. Meanwhile, the new riot response unit T0 has been deemed a partial success. In just one month, T0 has made more than 90 gang-related arrests. And last month, more than 200 people with ties to gangs were sent to prison. That's the highest figure since 2002. Nick Mason, who's a T0 enforcer, has been dubbed the Angel of Hope Street by local police for his work in defending the station. Even so, public opinion is still mixed about T0. Many feel it hasn't earned its multi-million dollar price tag. I'm getting word of a terror attack at the South Side Canals. Police have quarantined and evacuated the area, but some police and medical teams are trapped. It appears they were lured to the docks with false 911 calls. T0 and police backup are en route. Channel 7's news chopper is at the scene and can confirm that hostages have been taken. We'll have more on this story as it unfolds. Channel 7, first for news in your city.
Thanks for saving me. We were responding to the call when these animals turned on us. They chased James, my partner, down there. You gotta find her, and then find the people who called for help. Oh, uh, my name's Tara, by the way. Tara Hart. Hey, find that other medic. Okay. Thank God. Am I glad to see you here, Nick? They said something about a warehouse near here. Maybe we should take a look. I'm sure the guy you called is still in danger. Nick, remember I'm unarmed. If anyone attacks me, I am really gonna need your help. 
If you see any trouble, tell me to take cover. I'll try and hide for as long as possible, but I'll be relying on you to save me. You understand? Remember, I can heal you if you need it. for me to get close and heal him. Come here. I need to heal that guy. You need to give me the order. Take them out. Oh, nice you. Come and... Whatever you say. This guy looks pretty beat up. Mason, keep a lookout and cover me while I can. I am entering the warehouse to find Mason with that. He's gonna be okay. Maybe a little delirious for the moment, but okay. He managed to say something about his boss being taken by these thugs. Must be somewhere down there. Hey, I can help you with that.
mine. Set it to basement storeroom. should work now. I'm going back to my office. Still more help gets here. Maybe you were worth my damn tax dollars after all. This is the T-Zero copter. Power's been restored to the warehouse. I can only assume Mason made it. Nice job, Mason. Looks like you've cleared the warehouse. Make your way back to Medic Delaney back in the alley outside. Officer Forrester, you remain in the warehouse to keep it secure. No problem. Nice work, mate. Looks like you got them all, Nick. Thanks for your help. I called for another ambulance to meet us when this mess was over. Should be here any minute. is Sally Taylor reporting live for Channel 7 News. I'm standing on Saunders Street Bridge looking over the scene where this morning T-Zero's Nick Mason rescued two local workers from a vicious and unprovoked attack from the Burner Gang. We also hear that during the operation two paramedics were attacked but thankfully they too were rescued by Mason. I've got to tell you there are mixed feelings coming out of this place today. On the one hand, you have local residents complaining of military-like maneuvers and the destruction of private property. Others have nothing but praise for the action, the mayor and most of all, Officer Mason. I guess we'll have to wait a little longer to find out the impact of T-Zero on the city, but for now, and after only weeks of active service, T-Zero appears to be making a difference. Back to you, Lonnie, in the studio. You have unlocked Emergency, Southside Lot. You have unlocked a Shotgun Damage Upgrade. You have unlocked the Grenade Belt. Just like